three and a half percent on a big upgrade. Emily McCormick has that report for us. Emily. Absolutely, Akiko. So we have talent analyst John Blackledge actually raising his price target to a street high for shares of Peloton. That new price target is $70 per share and implies upside of about 40% from yesterday's closing of price prices. Now, Blackledge did cite three main points of strength for Peloton centering on its vertically integrated model. So first off, he noted that it has premium hardware and a high-touch brand experience. And then second of all, uh, because of its interactive fitness software with things like its live leaderboard. And third, with its integrated streaming content and music service. These are the things that are really separating Peloton from other connected fitness companies. Now, Blackledge said in his note, quote, putting these attributes together, we believe Peloton's powerful brand is synonymous with a burgeoning connected fitness category, driving high retention, low churn, network effects, and leverage over time. Meanwhile, the pandemic has created a virtuous cycle, driving both increased hardware demand as well as a surge in engagement and lower monthly churn levels. Now, Peloton just did pass 1 million connected fitness subscribers last month, many of whom are highly engaged. Those subscribers did average nearly 18 workouts per month in its fiscal third quarter. The company also said in mid-May that it was still adding a net 19 thousand new users per week, even as the company has faced supply chain disruptions due to the pandemic and long wait times for the new bike. So taking a look at the stock now, it's still adding to its gains for the year to date. That stock has nearly doubled for the year to date. Akiko? Yeah, certainly a lot of growth, not just here in the U.S., but now international growth as well. Thanks so much for that, Emily.